Oh. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Say the Haitian Mo here at, um, on this beautiful, cool Wednesday. Hump day. <sighs> Just gotta get over this week, man. Um, I mean, I'd be usually really looking forward to the weekends because I'd be off my 9 to 5. And then I can just work on, you know, MCA and everything else that I actually want to do and actually have fun doing. Um, this is going to be going off all day. But anyway, it's going to be another addition to my Law of Attraction series for the week. I told you guys I'm going to do Monday through Friday. I already did Monday and Tuesday, so now we're doing Wednesday today. And I got two more coming up for the rest of the week. And all I'm going to be doing is really finding different little things that I can talk about to help you guys with law of attraction to understand it more. Um, I have something that I had to learn as well. I took all my notes down, so this is where I'm getting to keep my notes in, so that way I can know what to talk to you guys about, and um, you know what to make notes as well for my own self, my business, my daily plans. Um, but today, as far as the law of attraction goes, I want to talk to you guys about how you can turn a no into a yes. Well, go ahead and say, first of all, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And of course, once you while you're watching this, and, and when you're done watching, you give me a thumbs up if you like the video, if it helps you out, if you um, understood what I was talking about. And of course, leave me some comments at the bottom if you have any questions about anything or any requests. I can definitely do those too. All right, um, how to turn a no into a yes? Ah, that's that's the golden question. Um, mostly because in our line of work as an entrepreneur, you're gonna hear no's a lot. And one of the things you're going to have to create because of that is you're going to have to have a tough skin. So, um, so with that being said, it's going to be a lot of practice. And you're going to have to hear no a lot. You're going to have to get used to hearing no a lot. And it doesn't mean that, it's, that what you're doing is wrong or what you're doing is not, is not worth what you're doing. It just means that for that person, it's just not it. That's it. Um, unfortunately, you might get a lot of those at one time. And if you are, if you do feel like it might be your product or might be you, then you can ask other people in your, excuse me, in your industry, who have made it, and see what their opinion is on what you're promoting and how you're promoting it, and maybe they can give you an insight on what exactly you can do to, so that way you won't hear as many no's because eventually, of course, we can hear a million no's, but sooner or later, a million no's is gonna mean something. You mean you know what I'm saying? So it's like you gotta kind of have to know the difference. But um, this is why you have the, the trial and testing area, testing phase, you have for your product. So that way you can, either you're doing surveys or you can give out free um, samples. Just so you can see what people actually do like about your, your product or your services. So that way they can let you know if that, from based off of that, they could actually let you know if you should go ahead and um, mass produce it and market it and actually put the money into the marketing and all that type of stuff so that's actually you know that's all that stuff but again i can i'm gonna put all that in my training site to help you guys understand how you can test your products out before you going out and putting out a bunch of money into the marketing and, and mass production of course distribution because that, that takes a lot of money and a lot of time and effort um what i do with the magazine and i it is you really have to sit down and figure it figure everything out um because it's easy to throw money away Especially if you and if you don't make it back quick enough, then you know what I'm saying you're gonna be in a hole. So, but um, that's not what to talk about on this video. But for this one, as I said, as far as the nose go, now the way that I do, the way that I turn nose into yeses, um, usually what happens is I get a lot of people that hit me up because I promote MCA on the daily, online. So what I usually do is I get people that hit me up a lot. And a lot of people get upset, bro. Like, I guess because they so used to seeing MCA online and people promote it the wrong way, blah, 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 blah. And, of course, you know, they, they have this whole thing where you can't do it by showing flashing money and all this other stuff. Um, they have different methods that you can use to promote MCA, to bring in leads. That's basically all you're doing. When people do that. They're usually just doing it so they can bring lead, bring in leads. Because if they go out and put an MCA logo on a flyer and then put it up on Facebook groups, some people don't click on it. I'll wait. So, with that being said, this is why people go these different creative routes, you know, to do it. Especially if you don't have the money to put into a Facebook ad. So, this would be the way. This is like guerrilla marketing. You can actually search that up. Um, I love guerrilla marketing. Anything creative that get, draws people's attention and gets people to where you want them to go is, is effective. Like, it's, it's amazing. I think it's a gold mine, and more people need to do it. 
I'm actually got a service that I'm actually gonna get ready to start doing. Um, it's where I can get some billboards, and I'm gonna have my ads on the billboards. So I'm actually gonna show you guys about that, and that's gonna be awesome. I mean, I'm like so looking forward to it because I already had planned it, talking to my wife about it and everything for like last week. So she's already know that's it's getting ready to happen, and I promise you not, it's not gonna cost me thousands of dollars or nothing like that so i'm mean, that's something i'm actually gonna when i start testing it out and it, and i start seeing how it works then i'll give you more information on that too um but i'll go ahead and put my little info on here all right so when people hit me up and they ask me for about because i'll make my, for my, for my promo video and i'll share in the groups people will actually come and like it and comment on it and let me know that they want more information and then what I'll usually do is I'll I will either I used to send them a link straight like directly. But now what I do is I have several different ways actually that it happens. I have an auto an auto comment by that actually works on my fan page. I've had maybe one person complain about it. Everybody else they use it with no problem. Um, but basically what it does when you say submit or I mean when you say info, people actually the, the bot itself actually sends you the link and the information and the right into your comment. So it's pretty neat. Um, that way, they can go straight to it. That way, um, and then what does happen? You can actually you can go back into that same post because if you're sharing it from your page, you can always go back to the same one post, and then that post can keep growing and keep growing. You can get more likes and more hits, and more views and more post reach on your actual page. And um, once people do that, then I can actually go back and respond to those people that didn't fill out the form or didn't actually go to the link after they got the information, but I still see their name there. You see what I'm saying? So I can actually go through and message them. Just be like, hey, you know, I didn't see your name in the form. Did you fill it out? Did you have any questions? And that in itself starts off a connection and, and it lets you so that we can start talking to this person for whenever, you know, until they decide that to block you or they don't want to do it anymore. You can just be like, okay, sorry to bother you or thank you. Have a great day type shit. Okay. Now, now, for the people that hit your page up, right, that automatically say, oh, this is MCA, or oh, you got to pay $40 a month, or $40 to start, and it's $20 a month, but they don't tell you that. So what I do is, you're not going to offend me and or embarrass me at all, because I know what MCA does. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not worried. So I can let you go ahead and put your little information out there. The only people that I block off of my post is the people that post up their own links under my post. Those are people I automatically block. But if you were just coming in here just trying to shame MCA, I'd be ready. So instead, I'd be like, oh, I'd be like, well, you know, that's half true. But um, how about you hit me up on Insta on Messenger and I'll actually give you the truth about what it is. Sometimes they don't even hit you up. Why? Because all they wanted to do was for, for them to have their link or their comment posted under your post so that everybody else can see that they called you out on your BS. But I don't have BS, so you ain't call me out on shit. So what I do, again, I go, I tell them, you know, like, no, actually that's wrong, or no, let's try this a different way, or nah, I think it was something else. You know what I'm saying? So I, I break it down and I actually speak to them direct. Like I reach out to them, like, look, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I see where you coming from, but that's not what it is, right? And then I break it down. I be like, but this is exactly what MCA does. Where did you get your information from? Now, most of the time, like I'm actually gonna say. 8 out of 10 people, the ones that do actually respond after I make my comment, those people actually respond to my message. They actually are sitting there asking me questions about it. They're trying to find out about it, trying to see, like, you know, where exactly what am I saying it coming from. So I actually want to show you something. I don't know if I can actually, if you can see it in here. But this one girl, she clicked on my link and... I was trying to give her the information, you know, but she was like, um, she heard about MCA, been there, done that, all this other stuff, like, she was not having it, okay, so, I think I found her right here, okay, so, she done already done been there, done that, but the people who brought her in, they fucked her, you know what I'm saying, this is what messes all of us all up, but don't, don't shoot the messenger or don't, don't get mad at the company as a whole because it's not the company. It's the people in the company. So, but does, just because the person in the company did you wrong and, yeah, they did get you commission money, that doesn't mean you just automatically just exit yourself out of the company because there are other people out here who are more than willing to help, like I am, okay? Like, I'm more than willing to help. I got free training available for people on my website. I got free training on my YouTube channel. And I'm trying to show you guys this, this information. 
So, with that being said, she asked if she was interested in joining MCA. She was like, nah, I've been there, done that, right? And then she was like, she didn't like the way it was set up. So this is the actual message. I don't know if you guys can actually see the good thing, good, good view of it. That's the actual message, all right? And you can actually pause it and look at it if you want. And just see what I said to her, all right? But for the most part, I'm actually going to read it to you. So what I basically told her was like, look, I said, unfortunately, there are some people who market a company and give false pretenses, promises, when joining. When you only got, and if you all you're doing is selling to people who need the services, then you can make money. So I personally speak to each one and see what they're expecting and what it is. Of course, the person she says, yeah, the girl she was with wanted money. So me and she signed up, got her commission, and that was it. She didn't help out at all. She said, yeah, most people use, most people's services, most of the service people will never use regardless. Now, this is where I disagree with her. And I be like, so she was like, and then she put, that's why they need people like you and her. All right. So, um. She was like she was talking to she was talking to somebody else. So anyway, I basically just tried to speak to her. Like I didn't expect her to sign up. Like, I honestly did not. I don't expect her to sign up. I actually just wanted to talk to her because now this is my way of minimizing that mentality one by one. Now whether it's gonna take it's gonna, it's gonna take me a long time and that's fine. But this is why I do that and I put it on a video and I put it on, on YouTube so that way you guys can see so that way you guys can know exactly what it is that it is the truth about MCA. Because, all right, here, here's, in my previous videos, I already done talked to you guys about this before, and I done told you guys, you know what I'm saying, that MCA is, is not what everybody keeps making it out to be, it's not this scam, blah, 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 blah. First of all, everybody can make money off of anybody and make it seem like a scam, okay? I can go ahead and start me a company right now, say I got this and that, keep in mind, I can say I, I can start me an exotic company, and I'm bring girls out, and all I gotta do is get you to put $1,000 pay for a thousand dollars for other girls to come out all right now i ain't showed you shit all i got is a pretty ass website now all I, uh, now you excited about the girls that's all you thought about okay now this is exactly how people are getting scared so you can't blame you can't always blame the people who bring you in okay unfortunately you cannot really always blame them because there are usually signs to these types of things okay now with me, I do post up when I get paid with MCA. It's not a lot. I do not get paid $500 a week. I am not getting paid $1,000 a week as of right now, but I am definitely working towards it, okay? And as you can see, I do make my proof videos for that so that way you can see. And I also have, also show you my other methods. To All right. Uh, that was wifey call. Uh, <laughs> just put up my video, but it's all good. So I'm just going to call her back in a few minutes. So basically, that's that's how I got her to like understand more about the company and what it stands for. She said she wasn't sure about that way it's set up, but of course, everybody got their own methods on how to promote the business and how to make money with it. And um, unfortunately, there are gonna be some people that's gonna put you, you know, what I'm saying, give you false pretenses. So, with that being said, how you can turn a no into a yes? Well, do what I did. Talk to. Them. See what what see what in wrong information that they have. First of all. Because a lot of times, that's all they have is wrong information. So they're, they're saying that, hey, you know, this is going to make $1,000 about post ads. Yes and no. Okay? Yes, you can make $1,000 in posting ads. But there's more to it than just that. Okay? Tell them that. Explain that to them. People love when you were, like, more honest with them. Unfortunately, yeah, the making the money today or next week type thing and $1,000 a week is always going to sell more. Because... Those same people who keep complaining about the scams, guess what you guys are looking for? You see what I'm saying? So this is exactly the what I, this is exactly what I, why it's important to actually speak to people and build relationships. All part of the law of attraction. So now if I go through and I go and talk to all hundred some people who say the MCA is a scam, and they actually listening and taking in what I'm saying, guess what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get some of them people to sign up after they done called to the scam. Now those no's just turn into yeses. Same thing with how, in general, how people like um, J.K. Rowling and um, a lot of other celebrities and people who, who have made it now but didn't make it before because they kept hearing no's. But at the end of the day, you don't stop. That's how you make it. That's how you make it is that you do not stop. You keep going. The only people that keep telling you no is go ahead and find the next person that says no. Find out what's going on. Find out who is going out here doing this. You know what I'm saying? So that you can be the one to save the day. Because now what happened is that girl, she didn't block me. 
we all we, now we talk on Facebook. Now I can hit her up and just share some information, and she will be more than happy to share it for me. So it's all because I show my face and I let her know that I was really trying to understand why she felt that way. Because at the end of the day, people want to be understood. Okay, this is why they don't always. This is why it's not good to always stuff your product on somebody's throat. Because because they, they're gonna feel like you don't. You're not understanding where they're coming from. So you want to have a conversation with them. Then you can use the same conversation into a marketing material, put it into a video like I'm doing with you right now, or another way, as in the commercials be doing it, and then just get them to understand it that way. They may be that way, they might see better, and they'll be more intrigued to actually purchase whatever it is you're selling, or tell somebody else about it, or think about it later on, blah, 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 check out your website. Either way, something's going to lead to them coming to you in one way, form, or another, all right? Oh, Lord. Um... I believe that's all for now. I do have a lot more I'm going to be working on until the next couple of days, so be sure to look out for that as well. I'm um, going to go ahead and leave you guys right now. There's some activity going on up here on this roof, man. But anyway, it don't matter because I'm still going to take care of y'all. So, excuse me. With that being said, I'm working on my other video. I'm going to call Wifey Bay before she has a fit. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to upload this today. You see, I'm trying to do them on time now. I'm trying to do it. It's the same day. So that way you guys can um, see my face and know that I'm, I'm not bullshitting y'all. So just let me know what you think, please. You know, while you watch these, let me know what you think. I, I'm going to say I'm trying to show my face even more. You see, I'm going through changes as well. i um, been working on a lot. So I got a lot of stuff coming for y'all, all right? So bear with me. And I hope to see you guys on the next, on tomorrow with the next video. And you guys have a beautiful Wednesday, man. Just, just stay stay healthy and positive. And shoot, let's take this world, let's take this world away, man. One day at a time. Let's go.